Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video and I remember a few months ago, maybe also already a year, when I did a video where I was thinking or checking things about the Fiant trial and in the last couple of weeks I have spent a lot of time on this, yeah, I'll call it an event and I think that this is something that alliances really need to focus on. Everybody should work on getting the highest points as possible in this event. And I think it is very important that people understand how the Fiant works. And this is what this video is all about. I'm talking about the Fiant, what is a good setup to get a lot of points and how this event really works. So. I have to say that I am a mage focus player and this is all about a troop formation about uh, mage focus players. I will get a bit into archer players because I have some ideas how they can handle this in the defiant but uh, this is all about uh, or more about a mage focus player. So why is the defiant trial so important? You can attack the defiant two times a day. And by each attack, you get as a reward some Lord experience and Titan crystals. Titan crystals are very important for your castle improvement and your technology improvement because you can invest them here into the Colossus and get some nice technology upgrades. Then, this is what you get from your hit, what you're doing on the final trial. Then, you deal damage to the fire and the higher the damage to the fire dealt, the faster you get his life total down. And you can see that there are three chests on different percentages of health of the fire. The first chest and of course there are ranking rewards. So the higher your damage, the better your ranking is when um, this certain amount of health is reached. And then you get these rewards. The rewards get better the lower the HP of the Fiant gets and in the final chest there are also some material chests included. So why is it so important to um, make the, or to kill the Fiant as fast as possible and maybe make it happen that you can rotate uh, these chests like two times or maybe even three times a week? Um, it is because of the following thing. By the, your individual hit, you will get Titan Crystals. Then you will also get on the chests Ancient Relic Fragments, which is very, very important. So you can keep improving your Colossus. Also some Material Chests, which is nice. You have Recruitment Speed, so you have Alliance on and Recruitment Speed became very important since with Tier 12 and Tier 13, the Recruitment take, takes even longer. So it's always a nice to have. But now, another thing that I person, this is my personal opinion now, uh, can recommend is to go into the Infinite Wars and go into the exchange store and here you can buy a lot of stuff that will really help you with your castle improvement. For example, you can buy ancient relics, you can buy obsidian steel, you can buy titan crystals, you can really push your technology in the Infinite Wars. Yeah, maybe one day I will do a video about it, but I'm not the best. The best score I've ever gotten was uh, 34, uh, 34K. And, uh, but this is a topic for another video. Okay, so um, what's so important or what's so good about rotating the Fiant trial several times a week, you get these ancient relic fragments so often. You are limited to 20 Titan crystals a day, uh, per hit. But the more often you make it possible to rotate the ancient relic fragments, the more ancient relics you will have. And so you can prioritize your shoppings in the exchange store for the infinite war and adjust it. And maybe buy other things, um, maybe more titan crystals, maybe obsidian steel. If you still don't have your pet on level 25, you can also go for a beast exp and maybe let some ancient relics fall behind because you rotate it so often, you need to catch up in Titan crystals before you even lack in ancient relics. 
So there are a few more reasons, but I don't want to get too deep into it because I also want, you, want to tell you how you can improve your points in the Fiant trial just by adjusting your setup. We did a lot of research on it. We found a pretty good combination and army formation and every player and actually uh, or mostly every match player can do it. So first of all, um, I can recommend if there is no other event coming up, use your fast expansion. Luckily, uh, we have an elite war in less than an hour, so I can use it and still have it for the fine trial. So then always go for your maximum technology that you can have on your mages and go for the maximum army size because you won't need, for example, here, uh, my Dominator mask uh, gives me infantry HP, but I don't need it. I need army size, so I go for my Templar crown. Then furthermore, um, I also adjust my artifact because uh, I don't need the boots of speeds here. And sadly, I still don't have anything like Gusli or Kotana, so I go for the Angel Sword for the nice HP. I adjust my pet to um, attack and HP boost. So you basically just want to go for the best mage technology that you can have. When you time your Fiant hit also for event windows, you can go for these one hour buffs of attack and HP. They are a nice addition. And so you have you know, this way, you will have your maximum technology possible for your Fiant hit. And now we will come into the formation. I will show the formation before so you can better understand how it works in the Fiant battle itself. This is my Fiant trial setup and you can see that I have one tier 11 infantry. This one tier 11 infantry gets hit immediately and dies. Then there are two things that you need to know for the Fiant trial. In the Fiant trial is or the battle of the Fiant trial is, time, is, limited, is in a limited time window. So at some point when you reach a certain amount of time, all army or all your troops will just instantly die. So the second thing that you need to know is that the Fiant does an area of effect damage to all of your units. And by that, uh, for example, many people always send like one of each unit. And by this area of effect damage, I will call, call it AOE now, um, all of these one units will die. So now we are getting back into my setup. You can see that I have, for example, like 25 tier 11, um, 25 tier 11 cavalry, or I have like 85 tier 11 archers. I have maximum majors. I have zero angels for a very special reason. It has to do with how the find marches. And you can see like 24 tier 10 infantry, 30 tier 10 cavalry, and 190 tier 10 mages. So these numbers maybe won't work for you because it really depends on your technology. What I can recommend is if you want to start and get your fine trial setup optimized as a mage player, send like 100 of every front line except for your odd infantry and maybe 200 of your back line and record your hits and then you can like um, watch the replay and adjust the numbers depending on how many units die to the AOE damage. Another thing that I need to say, my strongest mages are currently odd. So by that I have to remove my even archers so my tier 11 mages stand on the left outside. We will now do one hit so you can see what I mean by all of this. Okay, let's see. Very important, um, always bring a pet. It has a huge impact on your damage difference. Okay, so we will set it out. And here you can see, 
The tier 11 infantry gets hit immediately. Now the first AOE damage comes in and my cavalry on the side dies. Then my tier 10 infantry dies. Then my other cavalry dies. Another AOE hit. You can see still backline units survive. That gets hit again. There's another AOE damage. Now they get hit. And lastly, my pet gets hit. And the time moves on. The find walks, walks, walks. And then the battle explodes at 31 seconds. And by that, the find did not hit my tier 11 mages once. And now we will check the damage that I've dealt. It's been 6 million, 6. 0.195 million whatever damage. So what I want to show with this video is how in or from my perspective as a mage focus player how I have dealt the highest damage I've ever dealt to the find. Of course here in the record you can see some higher damages that was maybe with some I don't know, maybe some royal buffs, king buffs and stuff like that. And um, yeah, this is how I optimized my fine trial hits. If you are an archer player, for example, you can, uh, and archers are always in the front line or in the middle of your back line, you can maybe go for the same front line as I did, bring a bit more angels so they tank more hits and also deal a nice amount of damage while your archers are sitting behind them. And maybe you can get a few points there. I'm not experienced with archers on, on the fire end, but this is something that I would personally try. What I want to show is you can definitely optimize and increase your points by just always checking um, or checking your setup, adjust it, record your hits and watch them afterwards and adjust um, depending on what you need. And one thing that I always have to remind is that you should always check your achievements. I go for the attack boost 7.5% and for the increased damage for the mages and then I end up with, I don't know how much mage attack do I have, yeah. 292.4% and with that setup I get that many points. But it should work out for you too. Give it a try. I just wanted to show you guys how I optimize my Fiant hits and how my troops never get hit by the Fiant. We will do the second hit now. You can see T11 gets hit. Then the first AOE damage comes in. A few troops die. Still the Fiant is busy on hitting low number troops. He's walking all the time, new AOE hits come in. And still my T11 mages don't even get hit by him. He's walking, he's walking, he's walking, not doing anything to the main damage unit. And then the battle ends. And this is how I get the points that I get in the final trial. And yeah, this is actually it. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys test it out. Let me know if you can get more points in the Fiant trial. Talk to your Alliance members. Make the rotation of the Fiant way faster. Get more Ancient Relics. Get more Titan Crystals. And keep your castle improvement going. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I would say see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.